going on guys, it's Brennan here, back with a brand new video. And as you can tell by today's title, today we are gonna start installing the Mark 7 Golf R seats in my Alltrack. So if you didn't see my video from a little bit ago, I purchased these Golf R seats off of, actually, Tommy Effia's RS3 swapped Golf R. So, if you don't know anything about these cars, the base model seats and the Golf's uh, Alltrack Sport Wagon, whatever you wanna say, uh, they're pretty uncomfortable, they're not really supportive and all that stuff, so today we're going to be fixing that by swapping in these Golf R seats. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to start cleaning out the rear seats and as well as the trunk so that we can take out the rear seats first. Alright, now that the rear seats are all cleaned up as well as the trunk, uh, we can start by removing these rear bench seats so we can start installing the new ones. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start by pop off these caps like that and then try to remove that thing as well. All right, so if we look behind that, basically we have to pull this cap off and there's some weird like J-shaped uh, space for this thing to go through. So I'm gonna have to try and pull it off from the top right there and pull the top outwards towards me so this thing can pop right off. All right, so as you can see, I got the first one out. What I would recommend doing is folding down the seat a little bit because then that will give you a little bit more room to uh, stick your fingers up above this thing. Just sort of reach back here and pull it out and roll it up a little bit and then this thing should just pop right out. So I'm gonna continue this step for the other side of the seat. And then once I do that, we should be able to just pull this entire bench up. So I took all of these out and I put the caps with their corresponding, uh, I guess, plastic underneath bits. So now that we have this out of the way, in theory, I should just be able to pull the bench seat up. So I'm gonna try and do that right now and let you guys know how it goes. So this is what the bottom of the bench looks like. Next thing I'm gonna do is remove this middle seat belt and seat belt buckle from that bolt right there because the seats come with their own, like it's built into the seat. So we'll get rid of that one because the Golf R seats will have its own. Next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna remove this cargo cover thing, uh, this little platform, because underneath there, there's a couple of bolts that are holding in these seats. So I'll go do that right now, and then we'll continue with the install. All right, so in order to get to that bolt thing right here where the flashlight is pointing, I need to get rid of this little bar over here. So what I'm doing is removing all this side trim that that used to be here. So in order to do that, you have this black plastic knob here that you have to turn so that it aligns up with the metal ring holding it in, as you can see here. So once you spin that so you can pull the ring up, this black plastic thing will come up, which is tied into the thing over here, so it should make it easier for us to pull up this old bar covering the seat bolts. So this bar right here is proving to be a pain, but I think I see the screw that we need to get out right behind there. Uh, I don't know if it'll pick up. Yeah, you can see like that screw back there. So I'm gonna try unscrewing that right now without removing this old bar back here and see if that works. All right, so after fighting this for like 20 minutes, I finally got this plastic cover off. Basically what I would do is, so it's like in here, I would pull up from this edge, pull all the clips out. There should be like one, two, three, four, five, six clips there. And after that, I would pull upwards and outwards like this, and then eventually the clips from down here will pop out. I don't think I broke any of them, thankfully. Uh, so just be gentle with it. It's, a, it's pretty hard to pull out um, 
plot. I would just keep in mind that there's a lot of clips that you don't want to break back here, so just be gentle with them. All right, next thing up, we have to remove this plastic thing so we can get access to that bolt. Now to do that, there's three screws, one right there, uh, one right there, and then one right there. So we're gonna unscrew those right now so then we can get access to that one screw slash bolt, I don't know what it is. And then after that, we can pull these seats right out. Also, the Altrek has a Ling Long spare tire. All right, sorry again for the bad lighting, but we got our three screws out. So now technically this should just come out with a little bit of a pull. All right, just with some better lighting. So the screws are right there, there, and there. And I just had to tug it out vertically and a little bit more outwards towards the rear of the car. Uh, I think they're just clipped in a little bit there. So now that we got that, we just have this one screw right there that we need to unscrew. And after that, we should be able to pull the rear seats out. All right, so after about an hour of headache, we finally got this screw out. It's stripped, so I had to dremel it down. I went over to my buddy Dave's house. So we fixed that. Um, so basically this thing, that screw came out of that hole right there. Then you pop this black cap off of the metal thing. And then after that, you can just pull the seats up and out. And then they'll come off of a pin, that pin right there. Then that pin right there, they'll pop out. And now because we are in the sport wagon or all track, there are these cables that connect to those latches, which we have to uh, take down right now. So we'll do that right now. All right, so I'll try and replicate this process on the other side, but because we have the sport wagons or all tracks with the release latch in the back, there's an extra cable that goes into the side of the seat up through here. So basically to remove that cable, so you can remove the seat, there's a little cap right here on the seat. I would just take a flathead, basically pry it off like that. And once you get in there, basically this cable will be in through there. And then you can use that flathead to basically shimmy this wire forwards a bit where you can then pop it out of the top and pull this cable back. Uh, I'll go get my brother to film the rest of this so you guys can see it in action. All right, so I'm gonna replicate this on the other side. So as I said earlier, you have this thing right here. You're just gonna wanna get your screwdriver under it and pry it off. All right, so once you're in here, as I said, you have like this little wire thing. So this is a cable that pulls the release. So you basically wanna push this forward with your screwdriver, because if you zoom in here, um, focus, it's, it won't come out directly here, but if you push this little metal tip upwards up to around here, uh, it's a wider opening and it will come out. So in order to do that, we're just gonna try and stretch this cable a bit, push it forwards, and then now, this part is out. Yep, and then once we do that, this part will come out too. And after that, you just pull this cable through the back and then your seat is completely free. All right, now that we got the rear seats out, I'm gonna clean it up and that'll be it for removing the rear seats. All right, while I had the seats out, I also just gave it a good vacuuming and cleaning. So this whole area looks about as good as new. So. That's basically this video. I'm just gonna split it up into four parts. So when removing the seat, then putting in the rear seats, then also removing the fronts and installing the front. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next parts of this series where I'll be replacing my Ultrax seats with Golf R seats. So thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.